Hey everybody, welcome back. Nice haircut. That probably worked for like 1% of you, but I bet that 1% is super hype right now. Anyway guys, great to see you again. You clicked on this video because you're excited for Sun and Moon. You want information on Sun and Moon. You want to know the starters for Sun and Moon. Well, I might be able to help. Now I want you guys to know, I don't pull you into my video and then give you shit. I'll clickbait the shit out of you. I mean, look at my thumbnails. I'll clickbait you all day. I'm gonna pull you in here and I'm gonna give you something that I think is worthwhile talking about. And today, we've got some stuff that looks like it's probably gonna be the new starters for the new Pokemon game, Sun and Moon. Now you may remember a couple days ago, maybe it's a week now, two trademarks hit the internet by storm. Solgaleo and Lunala. Now the reason that these two names sparked so much interest is due to the way that they were trademarked. Pokemon trademarks their Pokemon in the same fashion. You could say the trademark has two parts to it. It usually has a picture with the name of the Pokemon written out, and it's usually classified in a certain way. Not that you need to know this information, but in case you wanted to search on your own in the future, the trademark numbers that Pokemon are usually filed under, at least in the Japanese patent office area thingy, are 9, 14, and 16. Each of those numbers refer to a different classification system for the trademark being filed. If you watched my last video, which you should have, you would know that May is typically our big reveal month for Pokemon news, especially regarding new games. Well, only pertaining to new games. Pearl, Platinum, Soul Silver, Auris, XY, all of those games had their first major reveals in the month of May. Pokemon's not going to reveal new Pokemon without trademarking them first. That's just asking for legal battles all over the place. So, anything that they're about to show us has probably been trademarked. Now, Nintendo knows we're smart. In this day and age, people can find out information quicker and easier than ever before. While Nintendo's trademarks are usually filed under either Nintendo, Game Freak, or the Pokemon Company, at least regarding Pokemon, of course, that's not necessarily always the case, especially when they don't want us finding out what they're going to reveal to us in the near future. In fact, if we just go back a single generation, Delphox, Meowstic, and Zygarde were all filed under an unrelated entity to those three I mentioned before. They do this in order to hide the information from us, because they know people are searching their trademarks and their patents, and they don't want it to be found. Solgaleo and Lunala were found to be filed underneath the name of a trademark specialist in Japan. Pokemon recently has also been pretty committed to naming their Pokemon after the games that they appear in. Well, at least as of late. Xerneas and Eveltal, for one, are pretty obvious examples of this. I mean, one's a giant bird shaped like a Y, from Y version, and the other one's Xerneas, and it's like all X'd and shit. I mean, you feel me, right? So the fact that Solgaleo and Lunala have the words sun and moon, well, the roots of sun and moon, in a different language, albeit, it's pretty convincing to a lot of people that these might be our box legendaries. Their names, the way it were trademarked, both justify that reasoning. It's not guaranteed, but it's a pretty solid train of thought. Now, what I'm here to actually talk to you guys about here today, and what you probably have been waiting for, and you're like, shut up, dude, like, what the fuck? You guys want to talk about the starters, right? Well, here's the deal. Solgaleo Lunala, two trademarks, they were found. Great. Those weren't the only two that were found. Shortly afterwards, some people, or maybe a person, who knows, he found four more. Well, five more, I would say, trademarks total, for a total of seven, but one of them doesn't really count, and I'll get to that in a minute. Going back to our theme about naming Pokemon really quick, let's think about Chespin. Chespin's Japanese name is Harimaran. Harimaran, the word, is broken down into a couple different root words. You've got the word for hedgehog in Japanese, the word for needle in Japanese, and the French word maron for chestnut. Hence, chespin. It's a needle hedgehog. Like I said, Pokemon's been naming their Pokemon with their designs in mind as of late. Now, once again, that's not always the case, but all we really have to go off of are strong patterns and educated guesses. The fact that these trademarks are filed and look like the way that Pokemon trademarks their Pokemon, especially ahead of May, this month where we're supposed to get a big reveal, it seems to be pretty strongly pointing to the fact that these might be new Pokemon in the new games. 
Now, why do we think that they're starters? Well, let's break down the names for you real quick. Mokuro, as a name, can be broken down into a couple things. And now, I'm not a Japanese expert here. These are coming from Japanese forum boards and people who are actually smart and can actually, like, you know, do words. Moku is Japanese for tree or wood. Kind of like grass. Kuro can be Japanese for dark, but also Fukuro can be Japanese for owl. So what a lot of people are doing are thinking this might be a grass owl, a grass woodpecker because it's dealing with a tree, a grass dark owl because it's a Kuro. They're breaking down the name into something. Nyabi is the next one. Now, Nya is the onomatopoeia in Japanese for the sound a cat makes. I'm sure all you weebs out there know that. And then B is the kanji for fire. Fire cat. Now, some of you guys might immediately go, Oh shit, dude, no, that's not, that's not part of the zodiac. Well, I got something to say. There is a cat in the zodiac. The Vietnamese zodiac actually features a cat. It replaces the Chinese zodiac's rabbit. So... Here are our options. One, it is a fire cat because of the nya, right? The meow. And they're using the Vietnamese zodiac. Two, Game Freak never really intended for their fire starters to follow the zodiac at all and it's just been a coincidence. Or three, it's not a cat but it's a tiger. A tiger is still unused in the Chinese zodiac as far as fire starters go. Tigers are feline. Feline's meow. Nyabi, fire cat. Third and final is Ashimari. Now, people have broken down this one's name into two parts. Ashika, which means sea lion in Japanese, and then either Mari, which means ball, or Marin, which is Japanese for marine. Like, I don't know, water. Sea lion, that's a water thing. Animal is the word I was looking for. Mari could be part of the ball. It could be ball-shaped, kind of like a feel. That was my biggest head scratcher here, to be honest. Don't we kind of have something like that already? But that's not to say that, you know, Sfeel was a sea lion or seal Pokemon. I don't know. We did a Pokemon feed fact on it one time. I don't, I don't remember. Like I said, this is just trying to break down the names. If you look at a recent history and trend, a lot of Pokemon's names follow their design. I mean, for gosh sakes. Go to almost any Pokemon on Bulbapedia and there'll be a section for name origin. You can break down a lot of names of Pokemon to real world words. Like Fennekin came from the word Fennec, which is a type of fox. And Fennekin is a fox. And that was just an English example. The same holds true for the Japanese names of these Pokemon. So if we break these three down, they all have a pretty strong significant tie to one of the three starter types. You've got wood or tree, which is grass, fire, which is literally fire, and then marine, or at least sea lion, which is, I don't know, pretty water sounding. Now, I said six. Well, I said seven. I said seven. Let's talk about the sixth one now. It's called Marshadow. Marshadow, Marshadow. Um, English name, Japanese name, sometimes they translate into the same word. Like Rayquaza is basically Rayquaza in both languages. Not a lot of people have come up with an explanation for Marshadow's name. But let's think about something. You have a sun, you have a moon, they can eclipse, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, both work. Creates a shadow on the earth. I don't know how much astronomy you guys have studied, I took like one whole class one time, lasted like three weeks. But Mars shadow, sun, moon, solar eclipse, you know, kind of a, let's create a shadow on the, who knows? That's where I think a lot of people are drawing their connection. It follows the trademark pattern, so that's why it got grouped with the rest of these. Now, I said seven, 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 seven. If you follow really shitty news sources, they probably brought up the fact that something called Gigareki was found. Ooh, Gigareki. Some people tried to break down its name. It sounds like rubble or some kind of rock. It would be some kind of a rock type Pokemon. The, the, there's an issue here. Gigareki does not follow the same trademark pattern as the rest of these. 9, 14, 16, remember? 9, 14, 16. Gigareki is just 9. Gigareki was also filed underneath Game Freak's name. That's not to say that's not right, but it's far more likely that this trademark is for a different game that we may or may not ever see in the future from Game Freak. We're following patterns here. We're taking educated guesses. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. 
I'm going to do a video next week, maybe in a couple days, on this new legendary trio that we're going to see, probably. Solgaleo, Lunala, and Marshadow. Now, Pokemon, as far as their legendaries go, they like to group them with some kind of mythology. They try to tie it into a bunch of stuff. That will be a lot of research. That will be a lot of speculation. But it will be educated guesses the same way that this was educated guesses. So, thanks so much for stopping by. Tell me what you guys think about these starters. Are they real? Am I bogus? Do I suck? Are my facts shitty? Or was it great? You guys learned something. This is the kind of information that you want to know as soon as it comes out. It takes me obviously a couple days to make something like this because um, I'm really bad at what I do. But if this is the kind of stuff you want to see, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'll bring you guys the real stuff, okay? Let me know. Trio coming out soon. I'm out.